Hi, my name is James Hong and I'm the Director of Instruction here at Harbor Lux Golf Course. Now this is in response to a question I got from Mike Fay Golf and the Ask the Pro series uh, on Twitter. And it was about a drill for fading the ball better. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you a couple of things, a quick uh, discussion about what happens with face and path as well as three basic drills. I hope the color of these two sticks come out pretty clear, but just in case, this one here is green, this one here is orange. Now the green stick represents your target line, which is the straight line from the ball to the target. This orange stick right here, the alignment rod, represents the path of your swing. Now in order to hit a good fade, what should be happening is your path is going to be left, your club face is actually open to the path of your swing, but closed to the target line, or left of the target line for right-handed golfers. So that way the ball starts left of your target, and then will fade back to the target. Again, the club face is open to the path, but closed to the target. And that's what's going to create the fade. Okay, so I've given you a basic description of how to hit a fade. So the first thing that could be happening in terms of your swing itself is that from the top, you could be coming over the plane line like this, the imaginary plane line. Now you had mentioned in your question that you tend to pull the ball straight left. So one issue could be that you're coming from out to in and the club face is actually square with the path. So you're just hitting straight pulls to the left. So one of the ways you can work on that is getting the club to come more on the inside here. Now you can do a lot of things. You can take an impact bag here or you can take a head cover and work on trying to drop the club a little bit more from the inside in this manner. Sometimes with students, what I'll have them do is put a second ball there and then try and come in, hit the, hit the original ball without hitting the other ball, something along this way, in that manner. So that'll help you with that over the top move. Now a second drill is using an impact bag or a head cover, something that you can hit that doesn't go very far. Now someone who tends to come over the top or is a pull hitter will hit the bag left. So what you're looking for is, some, is a swing that will hit the ball or hit the bag straight forward. So again, I'll do it this way. This is a puller. And you want to work on getting the path of your swing a little bit more down the line. Now another thing you can do is take this piece of wood here and you see I've got the alignment rod pointed slightly left and this is essentially my path. And what I want to be able to do is take this piece of wood and push it that way. So you notice it's diverging from the path line. Chances are if you're pulling the ball what's happening, a straight pull, is that this piece of wood is going to get pushed on the same line as the alignment rod. So what we want to do, and originally I started, so you could do it this way, or you could line everything up in this manner. If you're going to line them up together, what you're looking for is to, is to be able to push the, the piece of wood that direction. So you see how I'm getting it to diverge a little bit from there. It's no longer parallel. So that little drill will also help you with getting a feel for a fade. In that sense, what you're doing is, is you're feeling the path of your swing, which is left, and you're feeling the club face is open to the path. Try that a few times and then see if it works on a golf ball.